I'm going to use this FET animation to teach you about dispersion, which is the separation of polychromatic light into its component wavelengths. That's a fancy way of saying separating white light into a rainbow. So let's click on this prism. And we've got a laser. I'm going to put it up a little higher here, flip on the laser. And we'll drag a prism out over here. And you can see that the prism bends the red laser. No surprise, it's called refraction. But what's interesting is when we change the color, if we go from red light to orange and yellow and green and blue and violet, look at the laser beam. Each subsequent color gets bent more, red getting bent the least, orange getting bent more, and yellow, green, blue, and violet. Every color gets bent more than the one before it. So this is how a rainbow is made. Now, what we have to do here is we've got to change the monochromatic light, the red light. Mono means one, two, polychromatic light. And that white light is the full spectrum. It's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. So each color goes in, but every color is bent differently. When we look at the rainbow on the right, we see that red is on the top and blue is on the bottom because red is bent the least, that's why it appears on the top, and violet's bent the most, that's why it appears on the bottom. So a really handy thing to remember with dispersion is Roy G. Biv. Red, orange, yellow, Roy, green, blue and violet, Roy G. Biv. So um, if someone asks you which gets bent more when it leaves a rainbow, uh, or you, if someone said which gets bent the most, you say violet because it's at the end of Roy G. Biv. And if they say which gets bent the least, you say red gets bent the least because it appears in the beginning of Roy G. Biv. So now let's go into the uh, glass prism and talk about, what, about why this happens. Well, because it turns out red is the fastest in glass and violet's the slowest. Red is the fastest in glass, so it gets bent the least, and violet's the slowest, so it gets, the, gets bent the most. This is because glass is what's called a dispersive medium. And by de definition, a medium is dispersive if each color gets bent differently. Um, water is another dispersive medium. Uh, we all know that water drops in air, create that rainbow effect that we see sometimes. Little drop, tiny droplets of water act like tiny prisms where they're bending red the least and violet the most. So once again, if you remember Roy G. Biv and you could say, well, red or orange, who gets bent the most after it leaves a rainbow? Well, red comes first, so it's bent the least. Orange would get bent more than red. And we know that then yellow would be bent even more than orange. Which one is the fast, which one is faster, blue or violet in a uh, prism? Well, Roy G. Biv. Blue get, red is the fastest, blue is the slowest. So violet is slower than blue. So you can actually compare the colors if you asked a question uh, and you know Roy G. Biv. So let's now uh, talk about, um, let me show you something that I was hoping would be the case, but it wasn't. Uh, it turns out that uh, it was Isaac Newton that learned, uh, taught us that white light really is a combination of all the colors. And what he did is he took two rainbows. He said that the first rainbow, first actually two rainbows, he took two prisms and he went, the first prism caused the white light to turn to rainbow. And then he positioned the other prism in the opposite direction and he was tr able to turn the rainbow back into white light. Now, I was hoping I could do this, do that with this animation, but it looks like I'm not. But I tried, maybe you can get it to work, where you can take the rainbow and bend it back to white light. I was hoping I could do this, but it really didn't happen. Let me try it again. Yeah, not happening. Let me sw swing it around the other way. But you do have to know that, there we go now. I think I'm going to bail out on this. This is just not working. But that uh, I'll say it once again that 
that um, Newton turned a rainbow back into white light. They really were, they were opposite. This one was positioned this way and the other one positioned the opposite direction. And, yeah, you know, something like that. And white light came out, but it's not, that's not happening here, but that was the concept. And that is my presentation on dispersion. Let's go over it again. Remember Roy G. Biv, red being the fastest color in glass and being bent the least. Uh, violet, in fact, you should just think of Roy G. Biv written vertically. Red's on the top, and violet's on the bottom. And if you ask who gets bent more, yellow or green, well, Roy G. Biv, red gets bent the least. So yellow gets bent, so it's red, orange, yellow. So green would get bent more than yellow because it comes after yellow. Uh, red's the fastest, violet's the slowest. Red gets bent the least and violet gets bent the most. And that is dispersion. Remember that it's, a, it's an effect of refraction in a glass and a dispersive medium and that there are two dispersive mediums. I want you to know glass makes rainbows and water makes rainbows because each color travels at a different speed. And that is my presentation on dispersion.